The IHSA Badminton State Championship Finals are here at Hinsdale South. Day three of the tournament begins with the quarterfinals, and we will start with the doubles bracket. Naperville Central's top pairing of Hannah Ann and Michelle Hu looking to stay alive in the consolation quarterfinals against Ellie Ouyang and Nancy Zhang from Stevenson. The Red Hawks fell to Anjana Viswanathan and Rhea Elwala from Matia Valley in round three, but earned two more wins in the consolation bracket to advance to this point. Stevenson competing with the defending state champions Naperville North, Fremd, and Nico Valley at the top of the standings. After two sets, Ouyang and Zhang pick up a key half point and a victory for the Patriots. A great season comes to an end for Ann and Hu. Over to a different quarterfinal, Sophia Wang and Vivian Koch, sectional champions from Atia Valley, facing familiar foes Rosanna Liang and Connie Liu, the Naperville North sectional champs. The Huskies get off to a great start as Liang and Liu look to pull off the upset after a 21-17 first set win. But the Mustangs regroup and show off the special chemistry to win sets 2 and 3, 21-9, 21-15. They also go on to defeat Ouyang and Zhang to advance to the fifth place match. The third place doubles match is between Sasha Nidai and Lindsay White from York, who sent Koch and Wang to the consolation bracket earlier in the day against Yaji Lee and Maggie Yu from Fremd. A great three set match that in the end is won by York, denying Fremd a key half point. Vivian Koch and Sophia Wang now in the fifth place match against Carla Martinez and Paige Druno from Thornton Fractional South. But at this point, the Mustangs have shaken off the loss from the quarterfinals. The longtime duo goes off on a high note with a two-set victory, 21-14, 21-6. Back-to-back top five finishes for this Matia duo. The championship match is between Sachi Tillu and Jessalyn Ventacat from Fremd and Emma Akutsu and Katherine Lee from Stevenson. Akutsu and Lee were completely dominant all tournament long, including the championship match. For the second straight season, Stevenson produces the double state champ. Now over to the singles bracket, starting with the championship semifinals. Sophomore Andrea Lee from University High School in Urbana is back after finishing as the state runner-up last year. She faces the always entertaining Shannon Chu. Chu doing what she does best, getting to every difficult return she can. The junior eventually takes this point with a nice drop shot. However, Lee did not make the lawn trip for nothing, eventually seizing control and advancing to the singles championship for the second year in a row, 21-8, 21-11. In the other semifinal, Equal Valley freshman Hannah George playing beyond her years this season against senior Amanda Ng from Naperville North. George is not intimidated at all by her first state tournament, pushing her fellow sectional champion with everything she has. This is actually the first state badminton tournament for Amanda Ng as well. The Huskies are thrilled she joined the roster this year as she takes the semifinal win in two sets and advances to the single state championship match. That gives North a point in the team standings to keep pace with Stevenson and Friend. Another top DVC freshman is Carissa Chen from Obanzi Valley. She is able to make it into the fifth place match after this consolation bracket win against Maya Perzaborowski from Wheeling. The Warrior moving into the medal round to take on Maggie Chen from Hinsdale South, who fell to Hannah George in the quarterfinals. In the opening set, Carissa Chen holds her own, pushing her opponent to the back and then dropping a quick shot just over the net. However, Maggie Chen flips the script from there and goes on to win the fifth place medal in straight sets. A great inaugural season for Carissa Chen in the green and gold. A fun third place matchup between Shannon Chu and Hannah George. Naperville North one point behind Stevenson in the team standings and a half point behind Fremd for second place while Nikwa sits in fourth. With the temperature outside over 90 degrees, the field house is warm and humid so most players are feeling the effects at this point in the day. However, you see everyone giving their all as Chu comes away with this point before hitting the deck. But Hannah George once again shows she is no ordinary freshman. Despite a trademark full extension dive from Shannon Chu, George gets the point on a smash and takes third place in two sets, 24-22, 22-20, in a fantastic match. A great showing for both players who know each other well. For the second year in a row, it's Andrea Lee against a Naperville North Husky for the single state title. Amanda Ng and North head coach Heather Shield hope for a win that could earn a share of the team's state title. 
Ng, who until this spring was known mostly as one of the area's top swimmers, shows that she is certainly more than comfortable out of the water as well, smashing home this first set point. But Andrea Lee has learned a lot over the past year. She is able to cover a ton of ground efficiently and shows off the power and finesse, eventually earning a 21-17 first set win thanks to drop shots like this. The Husky senior regroups in the second set, looking to force a third. Some great returns from Lee, but Ng just taps one over with a light backhand for the point. A 17-13 lead in set two. However, Lee fights back to take a 21-20 lead late in the set. Championship point now as both players leaving everything they have on the court. In the end, Lee drops one just over the net and out of the reach of Ng. Andrea Lee is the 2022 state singles champion. What a season for all these players. Stevenson clinches the team state title after back-to-back runner-up seasons, while Fremd ends up in second place. Naperville North brings state trophy number eight for the program after securing third place. Nequa Valley in fourth, Hinsdale South fifth, and Matia Valley in sixth. Yeah, I mean, I think last year was a lot of like motivation to just like work harder to come back this year. And then I think it was also just a lot of experience-wise and confidence-wise and just performing on court. I knew like Amanda was playing really well during that like period of time and so I just had to kind of like calm down a little bit and then think about what I wanted to change and yeah. Oh, I'm actually super grateful for this opportunity. Like I I think this is one of the best decisions I've ever made to join um, High School Badminton, especially last year. It made it just like the end of my senior year, so much more fun. So yeah, I'm super grateful. I think like I played really good today. Um, today, I it wasn't about winning, but like being able to like play my best, and I'm glad that I was able to do that. I think I played to my max today, and I'm really proud of myself. Yeah, it was all really new to me since I'm like a freshman and stuff, but I think I got used to it, and um, I'm looking forward to being here or playing state again um, the rest of my high school career. To be honest, I don't think it's quite sunken in yet. Um, even though like this is officially the end, I think in our hearts, it's not quite the end. Um, but we definitely made some of uh, some best memories, some good, maybe upsetting, <laughs> but some good memories. Today, it didn't start off the way that we wanted it to. Um, it's a very tough sport mentally and physically, but I am proud that we bounced back and we ended on a strong note. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. I um, am super honored, honestly, because our team has been like amazing in the past, obviously, with Fabia and like all of our double teams. But um, I'm more happy to be with my friends because a lot of my friends were playing this year and just to, like to spend the last few months with them on the team was like great. So. Playing Amanda and playing Shannon and playing Amanda, she was like more like attacking and like very strategy based, but then Shannon was just like all over the place. Like she was like she would get everything and it was it was like frustrating to play, but it was also very thrilling to play her because like no matter where I would hit she like she wouldn't stop until the birdie was on the court. <laughs> Not just varsity, but all three levels for Matia. We've all set incredible records this year. Um, I think we made a solid name for ourselves and then I think it's only gonna be going up from here. Yeah, I really like in, um, like supporting my teammates, especially from um, my conference, DVC. Um, and it's just a really nice way to connect with a bunch of people. I'm incredibly proud of our team this year. I think we've really made a mark and made a lot of noise, not only at state, but just throughout the season. I'm really excited to see how these girls grow, and I'll definitely come back to watch them. Um, and today, we couldn't have gone through the day and played like we did and bounced back without their overwhelming support and also the support of the DVC. Um, so we really are a family.